Hey YouTube, 2 gk back again with other packages, pickups and uh, a very uh, anemic car boot pickup unfortunately. Um, yeah, I didn't do one last week guys, obviously it, as you know, well, because I did put a video up, so you know that anyway, um, because it just wasn't worth it to be fair. Um, so yeah, I thought, stuff it, and I went to watch uh, the match anyway as well. Uh, when we were robbed by the Man United at Anfield, so yeah, it just it just happened. I just thought I'll, I'll leave it till this week. Um, maybe we'll work a lot, got lucky this week. That was my theory anyway. Didn't really pan out that way, to be honest. Um, so yeah, what I'm, what I'm going to do is a usual sort of uh, format, if you like. Um, I did do a trade with another with a fellow YouTuber by the name of Killer Commando. I think it's Killer with a three, but again, I'll, I'll link him down down below. Um, he had a couple of games that I sort of needed, wanted, if you like, for the uh, for the uh, Mega Drive. He did have quite a, a, a bit of uh, other odds and sods, but these are the ones that I sort of picked out. Um, I can't remember what I sent him. I sent him a couple of bits. Can't remember. Uh, I'm not sure. He doesn't seem to do videos. Uh, He's got some UFC type stuff up there and whatnot. So, but I mean, like I say, if if, if you like that kind of stuff, go over there, check it out, and sub if if, if that's what you're into, kind of thing. So, trade wise, games, like I say, all Mega Drive. Um, first one's the loose cut. But I remember playing this in the arcade. Really enjoyed it. Um, never actually played it on the Mega Drive, so it was just more a case of yeah, it's a loose cut, but I sort of wanted to play really, and that's DJ Boy. Pretty good fun actually. I've, I've actually had a blast on that and played through it. Um, so next up is Robocop versus the Terminator. Uh, this has got the manual, but it's missing the front cover, and I've had to swap the, the, the case out because it was a, wasn't closing. But not too, not overly first. Pretty damn good game actually. I must admit, I've got this on the, um, on the mass system. I think Pete Snestastic did one on the did a game plan SNES, but this version has the blood, so it's quite a good version actually. And uh, the sounds, it actually sounds quite good as well, you know, the sound effects and the music. So really impressed with that. These two I haven't had a chance to to, to, to try out yet. Uh, I think they're both just yeah, they're both just carts only. So first one's Primal Rage. This is the old dinosaur. I remember vaguely remember seeing this in the arcades. Uh, it didn't really float my boat to be honest. Uh, it's just like a, another take on the Street Fighter one on one. This series of games gets raved about quite a lot actually, um, and I must admit I've, I haven't actually played them because, like I say, back in the day I weren't a Mega Drive owner. Um, so I've got the first one and it's Toe Jam and Earl. I think there's a second one, and then the third one I think is on the Xbox, isn't it? So there we go. Again, that's just car only, unfortunately. But it doesn't, not too fuss with the Mega Drive, it's, it, I'm just getting them to play, really. Um, So, many thanks to Killer Commando for that trade. Awesome dude. Really appreciate that. Um, and I've, I can't remember. Damn it, I'm getting all confused now. There's someone whose package I didn't send out as quickly as I thought, so apologies for that. I don't think it was Killer Commando, actually, but I think you know who you are. Okay. Um, what you probably can see in the back, because obviously it has changed somewhat. Pick this up midweek. Was it midweek? Yeah, I think, or towards the end of the week. Um, and it's bloody Minx 36 and Dan Walshock, the old Bang and Olufsen TVs. So, yeah, they got me thinking about my. Um, so I did have the old uh, Sony Triniton there, which I was more than happy with. Um, but they got me looking and thinking and questioning, and, and I thought, oh. and then I think this one come up on eBay, and I thought I got it for an absolute steal. To be fair. Um, it, it was it was peanuts, absolute peanuts. Um, it is a right bastard to set up. I am not joking yet. I mean, as much as they rave about the quality, which you know you can sort of see on there, they are they are apps. I mean, compared to the Sony, where you just can plug everything in and it and it bloody works. This thing was a, it took me four hours. Uh, admittedly, I had a lot of issues with the remote um, because basically, don't buy one of these TVs if you ain't got the remote. Because it, you're, you're fucked. You can't do anything with it, literally. And I know Darren's mentioned this before as well, but just for anyone, I'm just going to reiterate it. It is an absolute 
beast what's it um i did have the remote which is you know obviously i, I knew that before so i thought oh, no, i'll be all quitted and i said to him does the remote work yeah it works fine and it was it, it was just intimately working and i couldn't i couldn't narrow down any of the issues because i couldn't tell if the remote was working properly or not so it, it just compounded everything um i have got it working obviously What I will say, if anyone's got interest, is looking to get one of these, check to make sure the type you've got. I've got one of these ones that swivels on the base, a bit like uh, Craig's Mix 36s. But I think it's only 27. Again, they have or 28. They advertise it as 32, and I think they measured the, the plastic frame, and it's not. It's the actual screen. It's only 27 inch. Um, so that combined with the fact that the remote controls shafted, I've got it. I got some money back basically off it. Um, and I did, I got, I, got a, I got a good deal on it. But to be fair, I think they want a shot of it. Um, going back to what I'm saying anyway, what I would say with these TVs, if you can, try and get the model numbers and what's actually set up with them. Because, I mean, I looked looking for a manual or anything for this online, and there's so many variations of the same TVs. This one's got a built in VCR and stuff. Um, I looked at the back and it had three SCART ports. One of them is like the internal video player, it's just like linked up via a, a daisy chain so I took that out and that's what this is running on here so running on that port if you like um, there's another AV port and then there's another port that says decoder so I thought well the decoder is probably locked the old satellites I can just use that one so I thought I had three scout sockets no you ain't you got two the decoder on this one is basically it's there but it's only active if the TV if you've got the model of the TV that had a decoder built in so I figure why not just don't put the bloody thing on there then. So I spent God knows how long trying to figure that out. Um, so at the, what what I've got is two scar sockets, and then there is some phono ones hidden right at the back on the top here, which you can probably use for the NES and stuff like that. Again, you wouldn't. They, they were on a little plastic cover. You had to pull it off to sort of see them. So you know, unless you know these TVs and stuff, they're a bloody nightmare. Um, so yeah, I mean the remote control. Although I had, I had to take it, literally strip it down. I had to clean it just to get it to, to, to register properly. It does now, um, and, and, and I don't know if it's just the remote that I've got or what, or if it's faulty or I don't know. But it's one of these type type of ones. Um, now, if you can see down there, there's one that says AV. So me being well, that's AV. I'll just press AV in it, and it will hop between all the inputs. You know, SCART one, SCART two. Or in this case, they call it V tape for video tape. AV for the AV and then what you would think is SAT for the satellite um, it, no it doesn't because the AV button didn't work what I've had to do is on the top here again the remote control gives you all these options so I'm thinking wow well, the one that says SAT there I can just use that and that will flick it to the decoder port it doesn't work they have all of these buttons on there but they're only relevant if you've got stuff that matches your TV so it's, it's a real minefield um, make no bones about it but uh, nice, nice panels, not well, panels, nice screens on them, definitely, and the sound's awesome as well, to be fair, so, and it takes up a little bit less room, bizarrely, because, um, yeah, I think Craig showed the depth of them, compared, to, I mean, when I, when I had to take the Sony out, I didn't realise actually how big and bulky it really is, um, so, yeah, I'm happy with the screen, I'm not happy with the fact that it, it's just not as user-friendly, I think that's the word, and I know these were top top end TVs back in the day, so maybe they made it a bit more, you know, hoity toity and a bit more difficult for people in the know. But I say they're not easy to bloody set up, and I, know, I, I would generally think I know what I'm talking about. Right, so that's the TV anyway. So I'm, I'm sticking with it anyway, uh, so you might see that obviously in the future videos. So, car boot. Um, <laughs> oh no, sorry, uh, eBay. I've got two eBay items. Um, first one, there's a, there's a group, a group. There's a, a few games that were being auctioned off that I had my eye on. So I put like, as we probably all do, put in like the old cheeky bids and stuff. And uh, sure's eggs is eggs. You know, I thought if I win two or three of them, combine the shipping. Wouldn't we? Works out not too bad. Uh, that didn't, so I only ended up winning the one game, which is okay, which is cool. It's one of the ones I wanted anyway, kind of thing. Uh, and it's uh, on the NES, and it's uh, Faxanadu. No, it's not the ABBA song. 
Um, I remember this in the arcade. It's RPG -y elements to it. Um, but I haven't had a chance to have a blast because, like I say, it took me God knows how long to this WTV TV set up. So it needs a bit of a, bit of a scrub and a clean. But uh, yeah. Um, Nez wise, I, I mean, I, I'm definitely not fussed about boxes and stuff like that. Loose carts all the way. So, you know, that doesn't fuss me. Shame it's not in a dust sleeve, but I can live with that. And one more for the uh, Mass System collection. So that's definitely coming down. I don't know if it's 20 bollocks. I can't remember. 22 or something. I don't know. I can't remember now. Um, I get this one. Surprisingly, it seems to have evaded me. Uh, it's not especially rare, it's just bloody hard to get hold of. And people, I think, because it, the, the licensing tends to charge a bit too much money for it. But it's James Bond 007 The Jewel. Complete, it's in actually quite really nice condition, to be fair. Uh, I think, can't remember how much I paid for this now because it's been about two weeks ago. So, I don't know. Weren't, weren't a lot, you know me, guys. It wouldn't, wouldn't have been a lot. Um, so, yeah. That's kind of the pickups. So, car boot. Um, see, I keep fucking up here. Not car boot, because I've, I've got some stuff hidden. Hidden. Piled under. Um, I've got a couple of charity shops, and then I've got two CEX. So, two CEXs, I had a bit of a bit of money with them from various odds and sods. So, picked up two games, two GameCube games. One of them I've seen straight away as I'm having that. And the other one, I've all seen it. Um, even on eBay, it, it, it tends to go for a little bit more money. They had this in there, but on the uh, like the Platinum Greatest Hits one a while back. And I thought, I'm not going to bother with that. So, what I picked up is Billy Hatcher and a Giant Egg. Three quid. Three quid ain't bad, to be fair. for Like I say, when you add in all the, the postage and all that on, on Fleabay, goes comes to all that. I played this and it's... Absolutely bizarre game. You have you run around in the chicken suit, rolling eggs about. It's quite quite a novel idea. Um, I don't know why it, it didn't do as good as it did. But I think when I added this to my retro collection, this class is a hidden gem, and I'm, I would tend to agree with them actually as well. And then one, I mean, I, I would never pay this ordinarily, but because I just had money from CEX, so it's just like you know, trading like load of PS2 uh, cannon fodder. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't have paid eight pound cash for this, and it's a Harvest Moon Wonderful Life, so eight quid from CEX. So I don't usually inhabit CEX. Uh, I know there's quite a few people on here that that, that you know do use it quite a bit. Uh, not really my cup of tea, to be fair. I mean, like I say, eight quid for a GameCube game to me is too much. But then my mum's a tight ass. Um, but when, like I say, when you're firing in a load of like duplicate old PS2 games and that, and you end up clock it all up. Actually when you think about it, they're no good to you and you ended up getting a half well, a pretty good GameCube game out of it. So that's that, that's them two. Uh say so the old GameCube collections come along, come along. Right, this is definitely the last ones before the car boot, honestly. Um four PlayStation games, these were in a charity shop, they were 99 got the labels no 99 p each, they ain't got the prices on them. 99 p each a couple of them were, I thought, I couldn't remember if I had one of them. The other ones I knew I probably didn't have. Um, one of them I picked up just for shits and giggles, because I've seen this before. Um, Rich did a one, um, UK Retro Game Addict, one of his barcade things, and it just looks like this <laughs> take. So, four PlayStation games. First one is Star Wars Masters of Terrace, Terrace Cassie. So this is the one that I've seen, like I'm saying, Rich's... Uh, Barcade videos. Uh, I think it's a pilot's cat, but it's quite good to, I think, kick crap out of Princess Leia and stuff like that. These are all complete. This was the one I wasn't sure if I had. I seem to be coming across these um, classics on the PlayStation, so I'm just picking up as I see them. And it's Frogger. I've got Missile Commander, I've got Defender, and all that kind of stuff. And I couldn't remember if I had Frogger, but I thought for a quid, stuff it, I love it. Um, I, I remember having this. Well, I said that I had it. I played it on the N64, my um, Z64, back in the day, and it was quite funny then because it, it was a, the, all the rage. Uh, so again, for a quid, I thought, why not? It's going to be good for a laugh, and it's South Park. Um, in the shop, they did have 
because obviously someone must have just handed in all their PlayStation 1 games. He had like South Park Rally and South Park Chefs Love Shack and that. So I just left them there because they weren't really my cup of tea. Now this one, um, I didn't even know they did, to be fair. Uh, I've never seen it before. And again, for a quid I thought, okay, I'm having it. And it's Lethal Enforcers. So another cool little light gun game. I haven't actually had the chance to play these yet, so I'm gonna like to say now. But now I've got the TV set up properly, uh, I've had to give them a blast. But yeah, there we go. Lethal Enforcers. I say all these are all complete. All complete. So quid each. Can't go wrong. Right. Honestly, that's it. Now it's, it's the, the, the car boot and. Uh, no, yeah, it, there ain't a lot, guys. There ain't a lot. Um, really, really get towards the end of the season. You can really tell. Um, the old sharks were out last week and today, um, swimming about, and uh, it just. I mean, I, I'd, I'd like to get to where Rich is, where he sort of said before, where he, you know, he's, he's got a, a couple of goes to, and he actually enjoys going round with seven hundred to feel not pressured, but you know, what's the point? Because resellers are buying everything up but I've got a few bits anyway I've, I've picked them to one or two little things so that's not too bad but yeah it's, it's not fun is it let's be honest but hey ho right as best as, uh, as best as I can remember this is all that I got from last week I say there weren't a lot there um, I ended up buying uh, a, a fat PlayStation 2 funnily enough um, for I think I'm way overpaid for what I would have paid. I think I paid like six or seven quid for it. Now the reason why, and I've, I say I've, I've took it out because it, it's you've, everyone's seen the fat places too. But what I bought it for was the actual expansion little slot. So I've seen this bad boy sticking out the back of it. So this is the one that gives you the um, network and also the hard drive. There was no hard drive in it, which doesn't bother me. I can I can um, pick one up anyway. So, yeah, got that. See, why has my TV just done that? This is what I don't get these banging Olufsons. Hang on. All right, back again. This is what I'm on about. Um, you yeah, think you get it working and you don't, so there's obviously some cocked up with this where basically it needs a f fucking tape in it for it to turn and display on the panel. It, oh, it just does my head in. This is what I mean, I'm going to have to look at that. I might have to try and take it apart or something, but um, it's just a nightmare. That all enough one scart socket and have big switcher box. Oh, pain in the ass. This is exactly what I'm on about. But anyway, it's running up again now. So yeah. So where was I? Our drive PS2. Um, so I bought a fat one just to buy this basically, just to get hold of this. A um, couple of quid. I can't remember. The same six. Six quid or something like that. Um, not sure. Right, a couple of um, Xbox One games. Again, probably a pound. I wouldn't have paid much more than that. Uh, we've got The Herbs, Sims in the City. Again, these are all just the compatible ones. And Urban Freestyle Soccer. So, they're both both complete, yeah. Both complete. And then, um, Random. Not, well, not random, but it was actually. It was just on a woman's table there. Um, I can't remember what model this is. I don't know if it's GS series or one. Um, GBA SP, the pinky type coloured one. I actually have got one of these boxed. Um, comes with some like 32 in 1 game. All working, so I mean, like I said, I've got a box of these anyway. So if anyone's interested in that, drop us a PM. If you're interested, I like, yeah, say you can even, I will even chuck in the the hooky uh, Chinese 32 in one cartridge for you. So it's not, it's not in bad nick. There's a little tiny on the screen just here. There's a little, I don't know if you can see it, just there. Look, little line doesn't really affect it, but. I say, if anyone's interested, it's a 
AGS001, I don't think that's the one that's backlit, I don't know. Anyway. Right, this week, this week a little bit better. Like I said last week, that was all it was. There was literally F all there. Um, this week was a little bit better. Not a great deal, to be honest. Um, I got lucky. I say, I, I pipped I pipped the resellers um, to a couple of games. You can probably see one of them playing here, which is, which is the find of the day, really. Which is a Gradius 5. So really tough to get that quid. The only downside to this, and I don't understand whoever games these were why they did it. I looked at the cover. To be honest, I've seen the spine. I checked the disc was in there. It was great. When I got back, I looked at the cover. And I thought, there's, oh, it looks like the cover's damaged. What someone had done? They'd cut the front of the manual, which I've had to stick back down as best I can. They cut that off and stuck it to the front of the box. So at, at first I thought, oh, like this is the actual cover's ripped or damaged or whatever. But it wasn't. There's nothing wrong with it. So I don't understand why someone has done that. Um, they're not too bad, actually. I mean, the manuals, it's all there. It's just they decided to, to cut the cover off and stick it on the front of the box. Um, I hadn't actually had a chance to play it yet. And judge you by this fucking TV, I'll probably get halfway through it and it just decided to flick off. I'm not happy about that. So I've got rest of the afternoon now pissing about that thing again um, yeah he had a, a guy had quite a few games um, tons of PS2 ones I say I just picked through the ones that I needed all the ones that I thought were, were half decent um, I can't remember if I've got this on platinum or not and again for a quid I thought I'll grab it and it's Star Wars Battlefront I know these are meant to be highly rated games and that so if, I've ever, if I have got this there's one of them I've got that's the platinum version, I can't remember if it's one or two. Um, so I say, if anyone's interested in this or potentially the platinum version, let me know. It's got to be one or two of them, I can't remember. Um, and a couple of PSP games. This one I just realised, well, not just realised, but I just sort of threw them, is an actual US one. Uh, I'm pretty sure all the handhelds are region free, a few people told me that anyway. Uh, but it's Bomberman. So yeah, it's the US one. All complete. Metal Gear Acid. All, they're all, all, I'm not going to show you, they're all complete. And um, Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. So I got them three, the two PlayStation ones there. I said, oh, we'll just take four quid. He's like, yeah, because I quit each or whatever. So cool. Uh, so I said, oh, I've only got five. You've got a pound. He goes, I ain't got a pound. Um, so he says, I'll tell you what, get yourself uh, two more games. For the extra quid, so I was like, "Oh, fucking hell!" They much else that was there. Um, so I did. I mean, he had some Xbox ones, but I think the majority. Well, the ones I looked at um, weren't compatible. And I bought, picked this one up, and I've just. And when I checked my list afterwards, I was just like, "Oh, bollocks! It's not the one I've already. I've already got it." But nah. so the two extra freebie ones for a quid, I've got this, uh, Crash the Titans. I've got this. So again, there'll be one up for for trade. Uh, oh, actually, I'll just have a look at this one. This has got this is a two discer. Hmm, maybe. Well, one of them will be up for trade anyway. And then it's Burnout Three Takedown. I thought this was one I needed. It's not as Burnout Two. So, I mean, the case has had it on this, but the discs and all that, and the manuals are all there. So, so. Uh, oh yes. Then some guy selling a load of DVDs. He had one weird Xbox 360 game that sat there and he wanted three quid for it, I got it for two quid and it's dead space. So, I mean you can't pick at these games cheap now. I mean the, the, the new current gen is going to end up being cheaper than the, the retro stuff at this rate. Um, bizarrely enough this week, far off the back of last week with the Game Boy, um, it's almost selling one of these, and it's another pink SP in very good condition actually. So it's got all the all the gubbins here with the charger. Uh, but I say this one is it, it, this one is in pristine condition. Um, so I might keep this one 
Like I said, the, the other one's definitely up, up, up for grabs if anyone's interested. This one I, I might keep because it is in really nice condition and that means I can just keep the one I've got in the box. In the box. A um, couple of games. Nothing outstanding at all. Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem. So I'm not sure if I've got or not. Crash and Spyro Super Pack Volume 2. Which has got Spyro, Season of Flame, and Crash Nitro Kart. And then E.T. So what did I pay for? Four, four quid, I think. Four quid. Is it four quid? Might be the, no, five. I think it was a fiver. It's a fiver because they then had this. Um, I, I don't know where, where this, why they got this. Or I don't think they knew what it was. I think they said it was a Nans or something. Um, so I paid a fiver for, for the, the Game Boy and I got this for three quid, so eight quid in total. Um, so I think they're looking for a tenner, five pound each. Um, I've never seen any of these games out, out in the wild, let alone one like this anyway. I definitely haven't seen the system. A um, couple of people I've seen pick this up in the States. Um, uh, Ed T11118 and um, What's his name? Bitted 1000. I'm pretty sure he's picked this up. I think he has anyway. Or he's picked games up for it, like the American equivalent. So it's quite a big box actually for, for, for a game at this, this age. And it's um, for the Odyssey 2. So it's called Conquest of the World. Now, I vaguely I can remember Ed said that there was a couple of these, I think they did five of these, all different sorts. Um, so they're like a cross between a board game and, and the actual uh, the, well, video game if you like. But it comes in like this weird box inlay. It's gold instruction manual. So in the States the system's called the Mag Odyssey Magnavox 2. But over here it was called um, the Philips G7000. So these are what the cartridges look like. So I've never seen any, any of these. I had a quick look on eBay and Obviously now I know what the console looks like in terms of the Philips one, the box and stuff, so I don't know, I mean for a couple of quid, I say I don't see it, so I thought I'd grab it and it comes out this little tray, got all these little, I say it's a real hybrid um, between a computer game and a, and a board game and then you get a board. So. I mean, really, I just picked it up because I don't see it. I've never seen it, so that's you know mainly what that what this is all about for me. Um, there's a little tray. I don't know what's underneath that tray. Is there anything at all? No, it's just cardboard. Just cardboard. So that is it, guys. That is it. Um, you can definitely tell this coming to season, season's end, um, maybe next year it might get a bit better, who knows, um, so I'm not sure how many weeks left, two weeks perhaps, I, I think it's October-ish, so not, not long now at all guys, um, I've got one thing in coming in the post for the, the main collection for the mass system, so you know, chipping away at that, but all the games are getting really expensive now that I need, and well, well, got um, not well. It is replay, but it's called Play Expo, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm all booked up, like I mentioned last time. So we've got a couple of weeks for that, October the 13th, something like that, isn't it? So you know, it'd be really cool to see any of you guys who will go in there, make maybe have a meet up, uh, have a chat, whatnot. So uh, yeah, I'm only going on the Saturday though, so get back for the Sunday. No, I won't be going to car boot on the Sunday, so don't, don't expect that. So the resellers can have it all to themselves. Um, I'm going to have to go and piss about this TV again so this could end up being a long afternoon um, so take it easy YouTube and uh, I'll speak to you soon thanks then bye bye